مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعزائي طلبة الصف السابع أهلا وسهلا فيكم بدرس جديد اليوم درسنا رح يكون من جزئين رح يتناول بالجزء الأول مفردات جديدة ب يونت 6 بصفحة 78 و بالورك بوك طبعا رح يكون في تمرين رح تحلوه صفحة 84 وبالجزء الثاني رح نتناول نص الريدينج وأسئلته بالإضافة لتمرين لسنينج رح نمر عليه Let's start with our lesson by presenting the objectives of our lesson In today's lesson we'll be able to use the new words to label 10 pictures and to complete a crossword with correct uh, job in uh, our workbook. Let's see this video before we start and while we're watching this video let's try to know what is it about and which uh, one of the jobs that you would like uh, to be and why. You're watching Kiddos World TV! Fireman! Fireman! Doctor! Doctor! Policeman Policeman Teacher Teacher Astronaut Astronaut Engineer Engineer Chef Chef Soldier Soldier Mechanic Mechanic Pilot Pilot Scientists Scientists Programmer Programmer Lawyer Lawyer Animator Animator بالإضافة طبعا لعدة كلمات أخرى لتخص تخص الوظائف رح نتناولها في هذا الدرس لليوم طبعا كل واحد فينا أعزائي الطلاب لازم يفكر شو رح يصير أو شو بده يصير في المستقبل So let's continue with the vocabulary of many jobs that we have in our life and we may want to be in the future The first one here is cashier The next is mechanic Lifeguard, the one who to save anyone who uh, is in trouble while he is swimming in the uh, in the sea. 
The next one is babysitter, vet, receptionist, reporter, factory workers, office workers. Now let's go to our student's book on page number 78. In this page we need to uh, match between the pictures 1 to 10 with the jobs and uh, I want you to find out which job of these jobs help save lives. Lifeguard, cashier, factory worker, receptionist, teacher, vet, office worker, mechanic, reporter and babysitter. Let's start with lifeguard, which is picture number eight, cashier, which is picture number two, factory worker, picture number nine, receptionist, picture number six, teacher, picture number ten, vet, picture number five, Office worker, picture number se seven. Mechanic, picture number one. And reporter, picture number three. Finally, babysitter, picture number four. Now you can see that of these jobs, maybe the, fir the, the, the first one or the main one that we can say that it saved it saves lives is the lifeguard. Now let's go to see the crossword and try to find out or to write the words in the crosswords uh, with each pictures with, with each picture. Picture number one here is receptionist R E C E P T I O N I S T Picture number two Factory Oh must not so on factory then worker Number three Cashier number three, number four. Here we have T, so vet, picture number five. Who needs this? Th these tools, lifeguard, live. Guard. Number six. Do you remember who's the one who who, who fix cars? Yes, mechanic. I see. Picture number seven. Look at this picture and let's find or oh, let's look at the clues. Seven, we have O, F, and E. So office worker. The second word is worker. Now picture eight, mic and newspaper. So re we have here R, so reporter. Okay, so by this we now finished the first part of this lesson. The second part of this lesson is uh, to go through the reading text and the listening, listening exercise, page number 78 and 79. And also we have some exercises in page number 84 in our workbooks. 
In this part of the lesson, we need to answer the comprehension questions after reading the text and then to answer any questions after listening to the track. Let's go to our student's book on page number 78 and listen to the text. We have here a babysitter and lifeguard. The babysitter is Lizzie Peterson and the lifeguard is James Thomason. Let's listen. Summer jobs for teens. I'm a babysitter. That means I look after babies and young children when their parents can't. I've been a babysitter since the age of 15. The first time I looked after a neighbor's children, I realized it was great fun and also a good way to make some extra pocket money. So, I put up ads around my neighborhood. And now, I babysit for more than five of my neighbors. I think you need special skills for this job. You must be very careful and you must love children. I've got five younger brothers and sisters, so that has helped me a lot. I know what they need and what to do. All this has made me realize what I want to be in the future, a teacher. Until last summer, I dreamt of becoming a mechanic and fixing cars, like my dad. However, working as a lifeguard this summer changed my mind. Why did I become a lifeguard? I love swimming, so I thought, why not work and play at the same time? First, I had to learn first aid and pass some tests. When I finished, I saw an ad on the Waterland Water Park website. They needed a lifeguard, so I contacted them and I got the job. At first, I thought it would be all fun and games, but I was wrong. I must always pay attention and be ready to act. Someone might be in danger and need my help. I've been here for two months and I love it. Now I know what career I want to follow. So after we listened, now what about these words in yellow? Look after, realized, fixing, changed my mind, contacted. contacted. If we just reread the text again, we may find out or figure out what's the meaning of each one of these words. لو عدنا القراءة وتمعنا شوي في النص ممكن إنه نخمن معنا الكلمات. For example, that means I look after babies and young children when their parents can't. بهاد الجملة أعزائي الطلاب that means I look after babies. الأطفال بحاجة لإيش؟ بحاجة للاعتناء فيهم صح ولا لا؟ إذا هون look after معناها يعتني. The first time I looked after a neighbor من هون يا شباب السطر الثاني The first time I looked after the neighbor's children I realized it was great fun and also good way to make some extra pocket money. I realized realized معناها أدرك أدرك الآن النص الثاني Until last summer I dreamt حلمت of becoming a mechanic and fixing cars ميكانيك الميكانيك الشخص الذي يعمل تصليح السيارة شو وظيفته fixing cars إذا كلمة fixing معناها يصلح بالضبط نكمل بنفس الطريقة However, working as a lifeguard this summer changed my mind هو في البداية كان يحلم أن يصير ميكانيك لكن كان يعمل as a lifeguard مثل ما تعلمنا سابقا كلمة lifeguard معناها إيش الشخص اللي ينقذ الناس اللي بيكونوا في خطر أثناء السباحة على سبيل المثال أه أثناء السباحة في المسبح أو في البحر. So lifeguard هو الشخص المنقذ. طبعا هو كان يحلم إنه يصير ميكانيك لكن هو عمله كمنقذ. إيش صار؟ إيش عمل؟ غير رأيي. Changed my mind غير رأيي. بعد ذلك they needed a lifeguard so I contacted them. إذا نبدأ من أول النص حتى نتأكد من المعنى. I saw an ad. Ad يعني advertisement. 
إعلان on the Waterland Water Park website على مدينة الألعاب المائية في الويب سايت في موقع إلكتروني. They needed a lifeguard. احتاجوا لمنقذ. So I contacted them and I got the job. هلا تتوقع كلمة contacted إيش معناها؟ اتصل مثلا تكلم معهم بالضبط اذا تقريبا كلمتين صحيحات الاقرب او الالصح تواصلت 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 معهم قد contacted them and I got the job ثم حصلت على الوظيفة now what about the meaning of these words in English babysitter let's see Look after, realize, fix, change my mind, and contact. A. To call or send an email letter to someone. B. To understand. C. To make a new decision. Plan or have different opinion about something. Or have different opinion about something. Or have different Uh, شيء ما دي to make something work again انك تخلي شيء يشتغل مرة أخرى أو يعمل مرة أخرى E to do what is necessary to keep someone or something safe and healthy تفعل ما هو ضروري لتبقي شخص ما أو شيء ما بأمان وبصحة جيدة الآن نبدأ بتوصيل الكلمة look after أقرب شيء هي E Look after أقرب شيء هي إي Realize B To understand Fix معناها to make something work again Change my mind Change my mind to make a new decision Plan or have different opinion C Contact To call or send an email letter to someone. الآن نروح للأسئلة في تمرين C. Read again and write L for Lizzie, J for James, or B for both. I found the job on the internet. الإجابة هي J. James. I had to learn new things for this job. L. I had to learn new things for this job. J. I have decided what job I want to do in the future. Both, actually. كلاهما بعد ما عمل صار يعرف شو وظيفته المستقبلية. I didn't take a test to do this job. Lazy, طبعا. This isn't the first summer I have done this job. Lazy. الآن أعزائي الطلاب بعد انتهانا من درس الريدينج وإجابتنا للأسئلة ننتقل مع بعض لل students book page number 79 حتى نستمع لنص للنص اللي عنا نص الاستماع ونحاول نجاوب على الأسئلة بأسي بداية نقاش نفكر فيه مع بعضنا ونفكر يفكر فيه فينا كل شخص الآن آه الأولى بإكسرسايز أي في عنا سؤال Do you know or can you guess what a working holiday is? A working holiday is? أثناء تفكيرنا في هذا الموضوع الآن نروح نستمع للنص في الآن نروح نستمع للنص حتى 
نجاوب على الأسئلة B و C طبعا النص هو عبارة عن interview with Trevor واللي هو student on a working holiday how does he feel about spending his time there بدنا كيف كان شعوره في امضاء الوقت هناك ورح نختار الإجابة A, B أو C حسب استماعنا ومن خلال استماعنا رح نعرف شو هو الـ Working Holiday 4. Listen B. Listen to an interview with Trevor, a student on a working holiday. How does he feel about spending his time there? Choose A, B or C. Then check your answers with a partner. Is this the first time you've tried a working holiday? Yes, it is. I've had summer jobs in the past, but this year I wanted to try something different. So I signed up for this working holiday in the countryside. How long have you been here? I've been here for a week and I'm going to stay for two more weeks. It has been amazing so far. Could you tell us exactly what you do here? There's lots of work to do. So far, we've cleaned a beach and planted some trees in nearby places. It was hard work, but it made me feel great. And this morning, we even started building a wall. We're going to continue tomorrow. Sounds tiring. Why do they call it a holiday if all you do is work? That's not all we do. We've got free time in the afternoon and at the weekends too. And there are lots of activities we can choose from. There's swimming, hiking, arts and crafts. The best activity I've taken part in so far is rock climbing. What's the best part of this experience for you? I think the best part is that I've met lots of other people my age. They aren't only from the UK. Some of them are from other countries too. Since my first day here, I think I've met over 30 other teenagers. Okay, so after listening to this interview, we find out that... Uh, holiday working or working holiday is a holiday but you work in this holiday so uh, sometimes by the way we when we work in this holiday or when somebody work in the holiday some people get paid and some other countries or in some other countries people uh, will work voluntary so they don't uh, they, they are not paid so they are not paid Okay, now let's answer the question. How does he feel about spending his time there? He's feeling great, he doesn't like it, or he doesn't mention anything about it. The answer is, he's feeling great. And he also said that he wants to be here for more time. So now let's continue to the second part of the listening exercise, which is exercise C. In exercise C, we need to listen again and write T for true or F for false, then check our answers with our partners. So you will check with me after listening. Or while we, you are listening again, try to write true or false, صح أو خطأ, and after that, check with me the answers. C. Listen again and write T for true or F for false. Then check your answers with a partner. Is this the first time you've tried a working holiday? Yes, it is. I've had summer jobs in the past, but this year I wanted to try something different. So I signed up for this working holiday in the countryside. How long have you been here? I've been here for a week and I'm going to stay for two more weeks. It has been amazing so far. Could you tell us exactly what you do here? There's lots of work to do. So far, we've cleaned a beach and planted some trees in nearby places. It was hard work, but it made me feel great. And this morning, we even started building a wall. We're going to continue tomorrow. Sounds tiring. Why do they call it a holiday if all you do is work? That's not all we do. We've got free time in the afternoon and at the weekends too. And there are lots of activities we can choose from. There's swimming, hiking, arts and crafts. The best activity I've taken part in so far is rock climbing. 
What's the best part of this experience for you? I think the best part is that I've met lots of other people my age. They aren't only from the UK. Some of them are from other countries too. Since my first day here, I think I've met over 30 other teenagers. Now let's try to answer the questions and check up with me, please. Trevor has never tried a working holiday before. True. He has been there for two weeks. False. He will stay for more two weeks. He didn't enjoy the beach cleanup. False. They haven't finished building the wall yet. True. They have only got free time at the weekend. False. Trevor's favorite activity so far is rock climbing. True. Only British people are taking part in this working holiday. False. بهذا أعزائي الطلاب نكون طبعا إحنا أنهينا هذا الدرس وبنهاية هذا الدرس طبعا أعزائي الطلاب بتمنى منكم تمسحوا هذا الكود في عنا جيم صغيرة في الفوكابيلري اللي مرت علينا في هذا الدرس ادخلوا عليها اختبروا نفسكم بتمنى يكون الدرس ممتع ومفيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية